The senior doctor reviewing this case is initially completely misled by the findings on the ECG. He thinks that this is atrial flutter degenerating for whatever reason into a burst of polymorphic VT, followed by reversion to sinus rhythm. The patient's electrolytes, including magnesium and potassium, came back normal and the patient remained in sinus rhythm on the monitor throughout admission. With the benefit of hindsight and access to the internet in the days following the patient's successful treatment for an NSTEMI, the senior doctor eventually figured out what he was looking at on the initial ECG. This undulation of the isoelectric line is in fact artifact. If we take a portion of the readout from a part of the ECG unaffected by these distortions of the isoelectric line, and use computer graphics to correct for a slight sinus arrhythmia, we can see that these spikes occur at sites where we would expect to find OR waves in this lead. These are, in fact, OR waves of the underlying sinus rhythm, with artifactual distortion of the isoelectric line. Such artifacts on the ECG may relate to patient factors or electronic interference, they are commonly encountered in clinical practice and not infrequently lead to inappropriate interventions. In this case, the artifact temporarily distracted me from the real problem here. The ST changes in the lateral leads are very suggestive of myocardial ischemia.